R C circuit. C R R. What do you acknowledge in this in this circuit? So it's there is one capacitance, there are two resistors. Is there a battery? No. So a combination of RC circuit is that you can have only resistors and capacitors. Other combination is you can have capacitance, resistance, and battery. The major behavior of capacitor doesn't change, it's common. So, how about we study that in two separate ways? Let me first teach you the standard RC circuit. What is standard RC circuit? Three points. Three points, remember. Point number one one resistance, one capacitor, one battery. Point number one. Hmm? Point number two, all connected in series. I, I didn't say it's a RC circuit only. I said it's a standard RC circuit. One resistance, one capacitance, one battery. Point number one. Point number two, all connected in series. And point number three, the most important one. Capacitor is initially uncharged. This is standard. When the deviation happens, I'll teach you how to do deviation also. Capacitor is initially uncharged. That means if you ask him how much is the charge across the capacitor right now, zero. Ready for it? Sure. This article is also called charging of a capacitor. Well, common sense, isn't it? If, if capacitor has no charge, whatever happens is gain only. Na? So what will capacitor do? It will get charged. But let's justify all of it. Ready? <clears throat> Some symbols I'm establishing. Look at the right corner of your screen. Time symbol T. What is Q symbol representing? Q symbol will represent what is the charge across the capacitor at time T. Hold on. At time T? Are you saying that this circuit will be time dependent? Ooh, you're in for a surprise. Current in the circuit I. But look at what's given. At T E equal to 0, Q equal to 0, and I equal to I naught. I didn't get that. Hmm. Let's start now. Capacitor, spring, and inductor. Hold, stop writing. Stop writing. I'm about to give you gold. Capacitors, inductors. Sir, what is inductor? Later. But remember my word. And springs are three very unique elements of physics. What is so unique about that? Well, let's say... In the, in the world of fast food and immediate gratification, these three take their own sweet time. How do you remember? Capacitors, springs and inductors are old school. What is old school? They think before they talk. <laughs> that means they don't respond immediately. Okay. Sir, all this thing is sounding good, but what does it mean? Do you remember in Newton's laws of motion, in the last part, we did something called cutting of the springs. And I told you that if you cut a spring, it's dead. But we did a question, there were multiple springs involved. In fact, I'll, I'll jog your memory. I'll jog your memory. Why not? Here was the question. Here was a clock, one spring, and one more spring. And the question was, what happens if you cut this spring? Then which spring you cut? That is gone. That's dead. But the question was, what happens to this spring just after you cut the bottom one? Do you recall? It rings a bell. What did I teach you there? What did I teach you there? <clears throat> Try to recall. Well, I taught you that nothing changes in the spring immediately. That's why the question language was never like this. Find the acceleration of blah, blah. After the spring 2 is cut, if this is 1 and this is 2, the question was never this. Note the language. Find out what happens to blah blah if spring 2 is cut. No. The question was, find out what happens just after, immediately after spring 2 is cut. What, do you, what is the difference between after and just after? Just after means 
immediate reaction, not the eventual reaction. And spring, because of his construction of dominoes, dominoes construction means A pushes B, B pushes C, C pushes D. It reacts thoda after thinking, just like capacitor. Hold on. Spring, I understand. Spring, I understand. Spring, you said, uh, TK, one will push B, B will push C, fine. Why capacitor? Well, not exact answer, but a good answer. Let's say I current is, let's say Q charge is flowing. Hey, na? Tell me, what is, what is the simple fundamental of this I current? Let's say I current is there. So this I is this I. If you zoom into the capacitor. My point is, excuse me, what is, the, what, is the, what is the wire which is connecting the two plates? I can't see a wire, can you? No, I can't. Is it okay to say, is it okay to say that the two plates are not connected to each other? Yes. So then, and in between, let's say there is vacuum. Ha. Ah, then, so technically, circuit is broken. Are, come on, appreciate that fact. If you put a capacitor, technically circuit is broken. There is no wire in between. That's, that makes sense. So what is happening? What happens is this plate gets charge Q. It induces minus Q and plus Q on the inner and outer plate. And this plus Q goes forward. Now this process, because it's conducting plates, take very less time. Maybe nanoseconds. Manlia. Let's say it takes nanoseconds. I don't care. But it takes non-zero time. So nothing changes in capacitor. Instantly. Note that down. Note this, note this statement and dictate it again and put it in a dabba. Write down please. For a spring, capacitor and inductor. Inductor, don't worry, you'll come later. For a spring, capacitor and inductor, no parameter across it changes instantly. Its own parameter. Huh? What is happening in the outside circuit, that's not the problem. Its own parameter. Okay, nothing, no parameter across it changes immediately. Okay, let's talk about, so T equal to 0, Q is 0, why? Now that's what the point is. So let's say at T equal to 0, the circuit looks like this. Capacitor. E is there, C is there, R is there. If you ask me, plus minus, what is the PD across the capacitor? Zero. Zero. Zero, zero. So, if I choose this is zero, uh -huh. is this E or not? Yes. This is zero. Yes. This is E. Yes. And since the zero potential is there, how much is this potential? Well, this is also E. So, will the resistor have a potential difference across it? Yes. Will it have a current? Yes. How much will it be? E by R. Oh, -ho. okay. It's like kind of capacitor is absolutely not wanted there. Like there is no PD. So, from now on, I will use a symbol called 0 plus. Let's, let's agree that 0 plus will imply just after T equal to 0. 0 plus, if I ask you what is the PD across the capacitor, it is still 0. Good. So now look at the language. What is the potential difference across the capacitor at T equal to 0? 0. What is the potential difference across the capacitor right after T equal to 0? Still 0. So how is the capacitor behaving? How does anything behave when there is no PD between that? Kind of like a wire. Very good. This is your T equal to 0 plus circuit. So I'll, I'll dictate the statement to you. And this current is called I naught. I naught is the current at T equal to 0. And clearly the value of I naught is E by R. Kapish, did you write one statement in Dabba? Now the second statement in Dabba. Write down. Write down. 
अच्छा ठीक है टेन सेकेंड्स यू कॉपी दिस डाउन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स थर्टी सेकेंड्स देन डेट इज अल डोंट राइट अ स्टेटमेंट कैजुअली दिस इज द रीजन वाई एम डिक्टेटिंग यू राइट डाउन आई एम गोन से स्लोली बट ओनली वंस एन इनिशियली अनचार्ज कैपेसिटर एन इनिशियली सी दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट एन इनिशियली अनचार्ज कैपेसिटर can be understood as can be understood as a connecting wire just after the circuit is completed an initially uncharged capacitor can be understood as a connecting wire just after the circuit is completed now tell me as time progresses what happens now well now capacitor is not uh, this thing connecting wire now it will take it will have pd so let's see what happens at any time t ready okay at time t let's say the charge across the capacitor is some q let's say the current in the circuit is some i so clearly this pd is q by c clearly this pd is i r i hope that's not a problem those are the boundary conditions given to me take your time applying kvl from where from topmost corner point clockwise by the way this is the circuit at t minus q by c minus ir plus e equal to 0 check or ir is equal to e minus q by c right sir check 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 or i equal to c e minus q by rc is this okay please tell me you are okay with this and are you okay with writing i as dq by dt please is i dq by dt the rate at which the capacitor is getting charged absolutely sir good so by variable separable dq upon ce minus q is equal to 1 upon rc dt check variable separable integration integration at t equal to 0 what was the charge across the capacitor 0 at t equal to any t what is the charge across the capacitor the symbol q kapish kapish or not nice now you guys are you guys know integration better than me now but manners manners say ln ce minus q upon minus 1 that's what the manners say 1 upon rc t 0 to t check so far is there a problem i'm going to give you 30 one full minute one full minute while you absorb this no problem easy copy this down and those who have already copied alongside with me you can go ahead please finish the integration put the limits and see what you get upper limit minus lower limit just a request don't absorb the minus sign the request is take the minus sign this minus sign na take that side we'll thank you later take the minus sign that side okay if you do that 
what you get is as follows ln ce minus q upper limit q minus lower limit that ce will be equal to what minus t by rc yes or no yes now what now anti log or exponential that implies c minus q upon c e is exponential minus t by rc mm, fair enough fair enough correct that implies now if i cross multiply c e there and take this side and isolate sir what hold on what are you trying to do are baba i am trying to take q on one side ha to aise bolo na sir q is c e 1 minus exponential minus t by rc also if i differentiate that i i am waiting copy this down and fill the value of i please fill the value of i please so if you differentiate the first c remains c 1 is 0 Minus is as it is. E to the power something is e to the power something, and that minus one by R C comes out. Please check. Do you get E by R minus T by R C? Wow. Looks like. Tell me, what does it look like? Looks like a little bit of radioactivity kind of first order kinetics kind of uh, arrangement, isn't it? Exponential arrangement. Hmm. Not exactly. Kind of. What is the first thing, striking thing, which you observe? All are function of time. Very good. Very good. Current is variable. Aha. Uh -huh. wa. There is a special name for this current. In CBSE books and other board books also they use the name. It's called transient current. Transient means uh, in the moment, right now. Temporary, right, is a function of time. So, this current being time dependent is also called transient current. 